I had a, uh, was diagnosed with a tumor on my pituitary gland. It all got started, uh, I took my dad to a dermatologist and uh, the doctor he normally seen was unable to see him so he was seeing another guy. And uh, the, uh, his doctor, I'd never met him, he come in and uh, we went to introduce ourselves and uh, he just got fixated on, uh, on my look. Uh, he uh, shook my hand and uh, Things just led to another. He uh, wouldn't know how long my nose had been as big as it was, and uh, how long uh, my fingers probably hadn't always been the size they were. And uh, he commenced. Uh, he just got fixated on uh, some physiological issues that I had going that I really had never paid any uh, attention to. I attributed to just aging, uh, gaining weight, uh, arthritis. Uh, Every question he asked me though, uh, I had the symptom. He uh, said I, he thought I had something going on, uh, uh, referred to as a giantism, uh, giant disease, uh, acromegalia, I'd never heard of any of it. Uh, and he asked me, do I have skin tags, little hanging moles? And I said, yeah, sure do. And he had I noticed space in my teeth, uh, like my teeth separating, uh, yeah, yeah, they were. Did I have sleep apnea? Have I ever had issues? I had. I uh, wonder if I had numbness in my fingers. Uh, did uh, ever uh, everything? He wanted to know if my feet, uh, if I had to buy bigger shoes. I said, yeah. He wanted to know what size uh, shoe I used to wear, uh, like when I got married. Uh, told him nine and a half, and now I wore a 12. Uh, and uh, just, uh, he could tell, though, I wasn't really buying into it. Uh, I'd point to my dad and I said, well, uh, my dad's got a big nose and it wasn't always that big. Uh, some of us just don't age as gracefully as others. And he said, nah, it's different. He uh, asked me who my family physician was and he, uh, he said, I know him. Uh, and then a few minutes later, he said, I want to call that guy. If you don't have a problem, if I have your permission, I want to call your doctor. And he did, and he told him, uh, you know, I, I think your patient's got a condition, and uh, he ought to have blood work. I had the blood work the next day. The following day, my family physician called me, uh, said the blood work was <laughs> pretty bad, you know, showed that I did have going on what Dr. Becknell thought, and uh, so he scheduled an MRI for the first of the following week. And the MRI showed that I had a tumor on my pituitary, so a family physician sent me to the uh, UC uh, Brain Tumor Center. And uh, so I saw uh, the neurosurgeon, and uh, with the neurosurgeon and the ENT uh, surgeon together, uh, they uh, scheduled surgery and worked together and took care of it and got the tumor removed. I really uh, couldn't have went any better. Uh, they said uh, I could be in for two to three days, just depending on how the blood work went. Uh, actually, uh, I went, uh, had the surgery uh, around noon uh, on one day and was released uh, close to noon. The following day, uh, everything went really good, other than having a severely stopped up nose. Uh, there wasn't any issues at all. They went up through the nasal passages and to the pituitary that away. And uh, the, uh, I had some immediate results. Uh, within a couple of days, uh, the swelling in my hands had gone down. Uh, I could tell uh, the day of the surgery that night, uh, I, uh, psychological or not, but uh, I could tell a difference in the way I was able to rest so I, I had some immediate, uh, immediate benefits. It's almost gone uh, too good, you know, from uh, somebody uh, convincing or telling you that, uh, you know, you got a brain tumor when you uh, don't think you have any issues at all, uh, other than uh, being too big, uh, overweight and uh, over overfed and underworked. I didn't think I had any issues at all, and. Uh, uh, somebody telling you you got a brain tumor, it uh, kind of gives you a different perspective on life. But uh, yeah, if you're going to have to have a brain tumor, I'd recommend having the one I had, I guess. It, uh, it all went beautiful.